I grew up on a dairy farm, so I've been involved in dairy all my life. Um, my family also did some processing, so got exposed to that from a young age. Um, I then studied animal science, majored in dairy science. My career started off by doing both, the production side and the processing side, but ended up focused on the processing side. I have a PhD in dairy processing. The idea behind a PhD is that you do research in an area that's novel, so you actually you're forced to think for yourself. And um, what I also found is that when you do research quite often, you need to think outside the box to come up with theories. And those creative and problem-solving skills that really helped me in my role here at Frosty Boy, a company that is expanding so rapidly. Frosty Boy started in Australia in 1976. There was free entrepreneurs on the Gold Coast. They had a fast food chain there and they were looking for a better quality soft serve ice cream in the Australian market. They established the first factory in Slacks Creek, quickly got a distributor network going across Australia and did that very successfully. So they sold it into a corporate. It went private again in 1999. I joined the business myself in 2001. Frosty Boy has always been focused on a very niche market. It was very well known for its soft serve ice cream in that dessert space. We later added a beverage range to that. And currently we've got a savory range as well that's focused on the cheese sauce market. My favorite product is a premium white chocolate that we have, but our most popular flavor is vanilla. I think we have around 75 to 80 different vanilla recipes, and that's because you know, the tastes around the world are all different. So we are customizing our products depending on what the consumers need in certain regions. So the R&D team really does travel quite a lot around the globe and, and customize the products for each region. Any good chef will tell you that any recipe and making a, a good product starts with the ingredients. So we source a lot of quality ingredients, mostly from the Australian market. We know that Australia produces really good quality ingredients, so it's a very, very important part of our business model. We sell our products in more than 60 countries and we have around 650 containers leaving the site here in Yatala every year. But we also have local representation on quite a few different continents and that local representation is in various different shapes and forms. And that is because we are not only customizing our products, but we are also customizing our supply solution depending on the region and the market. The key for us has always been innovation, so never standing still, always looking at what's new in the market and making sure that we give our customers what they need to make profit in their business. So really listening to our customers and then coming up with products that suit the market. Our biggest market at the moment is in Asia, followed by Australia but we're also seeing a lot of growth in the United Arabic Emirates, in India and in Latin America. And we are also working on markets in Europe and in Africa. If you've been in business long enough, you'll know that there's always highs and lows. The highs are wonderful, but the lows are hard. And I think the way you get out of the lows is by having a, an amazing team of people around you. You know, if you've got the right culture, you've got the right team of people, you'll always be able to come up with the solutions to get out of the lows as well. We are very fortunate at Frosty Boy that we have an excellent board as well, which has got all the experience to help us through the hard times and to get us through that. The purpose has always been to be um, a leader in our space, which is desserts and beverages. That's always been where our focus has been in terms of innovation. So making sure that we innovate and support our customers so that they can generate profit through their businesses.
Where we are in the market at the moment is that we are big enough to have a global footprint and through that footprint to support our global customers, but we're still small enough that we can really drive customer focus and speed to market, but we're also smart enough that we can innovate. On a day-to-day -day basis, it's, it's really easy to get really busy, but not focus on the things that are important for the business and drive the business forward longer term. So it's all about that balance between the urgent and the important. And the key is for me to have the right people in place that can look after the day-to-day -day so that you still have you know, some calmness and mental space left to actually you know, think about longer term strategic projects and, and also to think about challenges from all different angles to come up with the best solution. Customization is very, very important for us. You know, being in so many countries, there's so many flavor profiles, demand from consumers and what they want for their market specific and also price points for those specific markets. We, so a lot of customization that we do is either matching a product that the a customer is happy with and we've got to come up with that exact flavor profile or creating something completely new with their R&D team that we know will work and sell in that market. The R&D team really have three functions in Frosty Boy. The first part is really identifying quality ingredients that we can use for our products. The second part of that is then working with our customers and listening to them on what they really need uh, for their consumers to be successful specifically for their market. Then creating those products. And the last part of it that we basically started about five years ago is to innovate the menu with our customers. So really focusing on using marketing data and then looking at that to work out what do we need to do to get the consumers into the store and generate profit for our customers. So today we are making the vanilla melon soft serve. The process of the watermelon is that we have the fresh veg of watermelon and we serve it with a super premium watermelon soft serve. The ingredients that we are using are all super premium, so this way we can make sure uh, that the soft serve is going to be uh, super creamy, uh, thanking Frosty Boy. Our focus has been on taking the business global. So if I look back today, we've got Frosty Boy in 61 countries. Uh, we manufacture what is the equivalent of about 2 million serves of ice cream per day. And that is around 75% of our business in the export market. We have a subsidiary in India and that's mainly because we really believe in the size and the growth of the Indian market. It's around 1.3 billion people in India at the moment and it's a growing middle class. So it's a huge customer base. But also the government in India really makes sure that business is set up locally and that helps us to be close enough to our customers and grow the market. I think there's been major changes in business. If you just look across the last 20 years in business, I would say some of the main ones that stand out to me is the changes that technology has brought to us. So in our plant, for instance, we're very automated. We use robotics in terms of packaging. We look at social media and the impact that's had on marketing, but also giving a voice to consumers, educating people on that, that, what they want. So we really had to change our business models over the years to accommodate for all of that. Food technology has also been a major change. So just as we see um, the IT change and that side of a change, food technology has changed as well, which really gives us the ability to produce better products. It's 
quite an exciting time to be part of Frosty Boy with our expansion all around the globe. And the one thing that I would say is constant in this business is change. And I believe that change is actually evidence of our innovation. One of the best definitions of innovation that I've ever heard was that innovation is change that adds value. And what I really like about that definition is that it shows innovation really is everyone's responsibility. It's not only one person or one department, everybody can contribute to innovation. For Frosty Boy, there is a bright future. The work that we've done to establish the global market is putting us in a position now that we can grow. What we want to do is get closer to our customers. So in the next few years, we've already established offices currently in um, Southeast Asia, in the Philippines. We've got an office in India. We've got an office out of Dubai and an office in Latin America. We've got manufacturing going in India. So a lot more of what we will do is to take that business closer to the customer, remain focused on innovation and providing solutions to our customers that make them profit.